Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to my studio and YouTube channel where I discuss tips, tricks, and techniques for oil and acrylic painters. In this video, we'll explore the orange line of pigments available to artists. Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at cadmium orange, cadmium orange deep, transparent orange, which is a mixture, uh, permanent orange, and uh, cadmium orange hue, which is a mixture that tries to emulate cadmium orange uh, regular. We'll take a look at that. Using our usual methodology, these paints correlate exactly to these paints over here. Over here on our gray palette, we are going to mix uh, the, the paint with titanium white, draw it down so we can see our tints. And over here, we're going to draw down uh, and just thin it out to see how these look in transparencies and glazes. All right, so let's get started with cadmium orange. Now, uh, cadmium orange is very opaque. It is a very bright color. Um, it's really hard to try and, and mix this color. It's a, it's a very high value, high saturated um, uh, color. Um, but it works really well for uh, if you want to neutralize uh, blues. It's just a little bit of this goes a long way. Uh, it's great for making clouds um, uh, because it neutralizes the, the blues and whatnot. But you can also, um, it's great for pumpkins. Uh, although, to be fair, oranges are good. I mean, um, uh, all these will be good for pumpkins. But, uh, but uh, if you're looking for your very first orange, I would highly recommend uh, Kevium Orange. Uh, regular just because it's it's uh, uh, you can you, there's a lot you can do with this you can make some really nice hot pinks with it uh, um, surprisingly enough but uh, <laughs> um, anyway so this is cadmium orange or regular all right so let's move on to cadmium orange deep now cadmium orange deep is um, still has is still within the cadmium orange family it, but it's a very red cadmium orange um, it uh, I mean you're getting pretty close to cadmium red light at this point. Um, any further and you'll definitely be into the cadmium reds um, but it has a really um, it has its it has its uses it's not quite as useful in, in my opinion as the as the orange here or as the uh, uh, regular but uh, you know as we mix it up a little bit you can definitely see how interesting it is that you can have two oranges that have um, the same same color family but the one has a yellow bias by comparison to a red bias as, as in this one um, but however, with both these cadmiums, these are incredibly hard to try and mix. Um, they're they're just they're just a unique color, and um, you can use these colors to your. Uh, and these make a great addition to your palette if you're looking to add a very warm uh, suite of oranges to your to your palette. But anyway, so moving on. Okay, so let's look at transparent orange. Uh, transparent orange is obviously going to be uh, transparent, and uh, it's a mixture of two colors as opposed to single pigments. So let's take a look at this. And already you can see, due to the nature of its transparency, it just glows. Um, it, has, it has a very, uh, a very, um, a very saturated tint. Um, if you look at the cadmiums right next to it, they, they, almost, they look very natural. You, you can see them in a pumpkin or, or in flowers, uh, marigolds. Uh, you, you can see how that, this would work really, those would work really well for natural. But if you're going to go for a, um, a cartoony or a highly saturated palette, uh, the, you're just using a little bit of a mixture of the um, titanium white with the uh, transparent orange really it makes this very bright, vibrant orange that's um, absolutely great uh, when used in it, uh, um, used for its uh, applications. Yeah, you can see the difference here. Like, see how this is almost kind of grayed down by comparison to this? Yeah. Yeah, this almost glows <laughs> compared to these two. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna look real. You're gonna really notice it here when we move over to our tents. I mean, our uh, glazes and transparencies and whatnot. So, um, yep, so this is transparent orange. Moving on to permanent orange. Now, permanent orange is a single pigment, but it is a um, uh, semi-transparent. And it, uh, if you're, if you're concerned about cadmiums, if, if you're concerned, if you have sensitivities to cadmiums, consider using permanent orange. It's it doesn't have quite the saturation level or the um, the potency of it with the with the when it comes to tints. You just temp, t you know just add a little more pigment and less titanium white in order to help this out. But you can, as you can see, perhaps if you're wanting to to start an underpainting and you want to keep everything at high value, you can begin with 
um, uh, the permanent orange. Um, just because it'll, it'll, it just, you don't need as much pigment, or you can use titanium white to just keep it uh, nice and nice and light. But you can see it has, a, it's, it's similar to the uh, traditional cadmium orange um, in its, in its hue. That it, 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 it doesn't have a red bias or a super yellow bias. And uh, also keep in mind this is a semi-transparent, so um, it won't have the, 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 this is transparent and these are opaque, so slightly different properties by nature on all these so all right let's take a look, look at our last guy here and this is uh, cadmium orange hue which tries to emulate cadmium orange um, it's a mixture and um, so let's see how uh, this these properties work all right so as we begin mixing it we can definitely see that okay yeah no it's it's got a it has a little bit of uh, doesn't have nearly as much tenth strength. Of course, this is this is this particular tube is a as an as an alkyd, so it'll it won't have may not necessarily have quite as much pigment load um, just because it dries faster. It has a little more uh, medium in it, um, but yeah. So as we look at it, um, yeah, it it certainly has that vibe of the cadmium orange. Um, um, it does lean a little warmer than uh, true cadmium. Uh, maybe not necessarily be this may not necessarily be easier to easy to see on the on the in the video, but on in in on the palette itself, it looks a little warmer. Uh, not by much, but it uh, it's noticeable. But yeah, so um, I think I still prefer the cadmiums. Uh, the the um, oh the, um, the regular cadmium, not not necessarily the deep. Uh, by comparison over here um, I mean that's just a matter of of my preference but uh, all these paints or all these pigments um, are uh, would make great additions to your palette but yeah it seems like it's kind of almost a replacement for the permanent over um, um, over the cadmium orange but uh, but yeah so uh, this is cadmium orange hue all right so these are all the tints let's take a look at the glazes. Okay, so let's take a look at cadmium orange right over here. This is uh, cadmium orange. We're going to draw it down and see what our transparency is now. Now this is an opaque paint, so we're not going to get too, <laughs> we're not going to get too much transparency going on here. But um, so you can just see how much covering power this this pigment has um, between the top pile and this thin pile down here. It's just a very you don't see much. You don't see much variation at all. It's, um, um, it's a very opaque paint. So, but uh, let's get down here and um, see if we can't scumble it out a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. There's, um, yeah, I was just scumble it down just a little bit more down here. Yeah, so you can see a little bit of difference here, but not much, just because of how much covering power this this uh, this paint has. Okay, so let's take a look at cadmium orange deep right over here. And as we draw it down, we should have the same. Yeah, <laughs> this is. Um, yeah, it, it's a very op opaque paint. It uh, has a lot of covering power, just like our uh, just like our cadmium uh, regular over over next to it. And yeah, here we go. Draw it down a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I guess with these you can scumble a little bit, but there's uh, there's not much, uh, not terribly much you can do with this. Um, but you could add some sort of uh, um, a slight haziness if you if you wanted to use it. But um, yeah. here, <laughs> it's such a these are cadmiums are just in general a very opaque uh, family of pigments. So. Um, yeah, so let's move on to something a little more fun in our transparencies, uh, transparent, uh, transparent orange. Okay, so with transparent orange, um, we should also we should uh, make make note that it, it uh, straight out of the tube, it's a it has a darker uh, value than the other paints, um, just because it has, it has it's a mixture of red and I think yellow, and so when we draw it down, we should see yeah, you can just see the value of it. Uh, it's just so much darker. But um, once we begin drawing it, yeah, you can see this. You really see how much transparent it is now. But as we start to pull it out, 
um, as we begin to glaze with it, you see how much of a glow this has. Um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that just has a vibrancy that's 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 really hard to uh, to emulate. Yeah, let's draw this down a little bit more. Let's see how it goes from almost like a red in its in its uh, pile. As we get down a little further, you start to see far more yellow. You know, it's starting to get even a little bit brighter than our cadmium. And just just look at that glow. Look, look how much variation you have in here. So you can you can actually use this to to have something uh, like light when you uh, glaze thinly. You get a little bit like this, and then um, at the very top, you'll have uh, a darker. So it's very uh, the the value is very dependent upon its um, uh, the how much uh, paint is on there. So, but all right. So let's move on to a permanent orange. Permanent orange is a semi-opaque or semi-transparent. Uh, as you can see, it has a little more forgiveness if you wanted to use it for a glaze. Um, it's not nearly as opaque as the uh, cadmium, and um, and it uh, starts out a lot lighter in the pile than the transparent. But you know, so as we as we draw this down a little bit more, scumble with it a little bit. See, it has a little bit of a um, sort of a cross between the, uh, the the value of our cadmium and the a little the value of the cadmium and a little more uh, a little more not quite as transparent as our transparent orange, um, but you can see how this is a, a very useful orange because it kind of floats the line between um, uh, between the two um, opaque and transparent pigments. Okay, so let's move on to cadmium orange hue. Now this is supposed to be um, uh, reminiscent of that, of the cadmium orange, so we'll see how it looks. Um, you know, as a tint, it was a little light. Uh, it wasn't quite, um, quite as strong as the cadmium, but uh, let's take a look to see how it performs as a uh, glaze. So as we draw it down, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, actually it's very similar. Um, to the to the cadmium. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, it's a li it's definitely a tr yeah, it's definitely more transparent than the than the cadmium. Um, so as we yeah, we start to scumble it out a little bit more and see the has a little bit more has has more transparency to it than a cadmium, but the but the but the hue the the, the color of it is very similar. Um, as we draw it down a little bit more, maybe it's a again, it's a little warmer, maybe than the cadmium. Somewhere, maybe it's somewhere between the cadmium and the cadmium deep. Um, but yeah, this, this is not a bad color. I think it's uh, very similar to the cadmium as a as a transparent or as a um, as a as a hue. Um, at least straight out of the tube, it's very very similar. So uh, yeah, so if you have a sensitivity to uh, cadmium paints, um, definitely check out the um, cadmium orange hue from uh, I believe this one's Windsor Newton. So here are five oranges available to artists. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.